Okay. For all of you that have been terrified to deal with loopback or don't understand how it works, and all you teachers out there, which is me, along with the rest of you, I can't live without it, actually, for what I do for my teaching my lessons. So we're going to get into it and see what it, it's all about in its most simple form. And first, we're going to terrify you first by showing you my loopback setup, which you're going to go, oh, no, I'm not doing this, Hatfield. I'm not going there. Uh, it's much simpler than it looks. So let's go and check it out here. Here we go. Ready? Oh. oh. Ah. What is all that? There's wires everywhere. Oh, my God. I can't take it. Hatfield, get it off my screen, please. Get it off. Get it off. Get it off. Okay. All right. This is my rig. Everything that I need to have open is open and running and flowing through Zoom. So I don't ever pay attention to anything else. I just do what I want to do, and it just goes out. So now I'm going to go new virtual device, which is your computer. Okay. And now a new loopback audio is there, and it's already asking me, do I want to use GarageBand in here because I have a demo for you to check out. And I'm going to say don't use right now. And let's see what happens. Let's take a look at what we see. This is a brand new loopback setup. So there's my computer here. Then the sources is saying what sources do you want? This is the default that just is going to pop up no matter what. Okay, and it's a pass-through device, which you can assign to things if you want, but we're not going to even go there too much. We'll just learn about the little parts of it. These are the wires that hook it up to Zoom, which is the output channel right there, and that's going feeding Zoom. And you can take this wire. I just clicked on it with my mouse, obviously, and now I'm going to take Command, Delete, and get rid of that wire. I could get rid of both wires if I want to command, select it, Command, Delete, and then I could say, well, this is my microphone, and it's mono, and I'm going to click on this and draw a line. I just clicked on it with my mouse and drew the line with my mouse. So I took a mono microphone and made it stereo. Yay! That actually is easy. Okay, but now we're going to return this the way it was in this case because we're going to learn some more about this box. So I just draw my lines back the way they were. And now I'm going to click on this box. This is very important. In here is a volume control. You can actually mix and decide if something's too loud or not, right, from loopbacks if you want to. and makes it very simple to get to things. Okay. Hatfield, she goes, I want to see how I get my stuff in there. Okay, that's the easiest part. You click plus. You have things open in your dock. In this case, I've got Google Chrome. I've got Final Cut Pro, QuickTime Player. I've got GarageBand open, Zoom, Loopback, obviously. Sibelius is open. iTunes is open. Uh, YouTube to MP3 is open. PowerPoint's open. All these things are open in my, in my dock right now because they all have little black dots underneath them, which it says, I'm open. Okay, I've clicked my source and notice that all those things I mentioned are in a list already. Oh, yay. Okay, I'm going to say GarageBand only because it's already there. We can see it. And notice it just adds it for me. But here's the part you need to pay attention to, you youngsters that have not done this. Little option here. This is a hot thing for your lovely sound geeks and whatnot. But for you teachers and everybody else, you just want this stuff to flow. I'm going to unclick the mute when capturing. What that box is for is if I was a sound man running um, a bunch of things for a Zoom show and I wanted to sound check myself and all my uh, sources uh, and where my volume levels were, I would click this box, then I would hear it my phones, but Zoom would not hear it. And that's the biggest problem anybody has with this program. So uncheck that box because I just want everything flowing all the time. When I choose it, I choose it. And it's pretty much set up. So I'm going to say, okay, Garage Man is flowing. Let's check it out and see if it is. So if you see I'm only praying Speaking Sounds songs, like it is One of my tunes for church Conversation has begun A Conversation has begun so, um, that, so that works Okay Let's let's just quit it And get it out of there Okay I'm quitting GarageBand Like it never happened And I'm not going to save anything And I'm going to say Okay but Hatfield I, I want to get my microphone in here Yes That's a good idea In my case I am talking through an online mixer, which is here, XAir Edit, but it actually runs my X18, which is a mixer, and that's what I'm monitoring through right now so I can hear myself and all of my other tracks as well as you do. Okay, with that in mind, I'll click my button, and then I'm going to go here and look for my X18 because it's showing me all the audio devices that have microphone capability here. Okay, and I'm clicking it. And now you can even see my voice doing its thing. Bada-bing, bada-boom. 
and I'm working away. Let's check my options, and my volume is all the way up, and that's fine. I can just leave it there. Let's add PowerPoint, because I might want to do a PowerPoint just thing that has musical examples in it. So I'm going to add PowerPoint to my bit here. And now my PowerPoint is in, and I can open my options and uncheck mute when capturing. And it's already fed through channels one and two. So on my Zoom bit, we're going to go take a look, and you can see that on my Zoom, my microphone right now is on an XR18, which I have to drag this down so you can actually see it because it's too high up off the computer. There it is. The XR18 is actually flowing through loopback, so I can use it as a direct source or not because I have a different setup, than it, but it all is the same. And so it all will feed this. So if I now switch on to loopback audio 2, we're going to hear ourselves there, and we're going to hear ourselves here. So either way I go, I'm good to go. I am flowing through. All right. So now I can see that I've chosen Loopback Audio 2 as my microphone source to flow out on Zoom. And all these other programs are in it, too. And that's the beauty of this. And you can add as many things as you like. And I have uh, here, I'll hold it up for you. Oh, oh, let me clear that off the screen because that's not helping you. This is a Zoom uh, H4 stereo mic, okay? If I plug that in with its cable, it will show up as a source, and then I can use it, and I have. Uh, so any source can happen, and you can have a bazillion of them. Uh, and in my case, I leave them all wide open because I'm teaching all day long, and I'm bouncing between all those programs, and I just need them all to go out to Zoom without me thinking about it. Okay, that's enough probably for today, right? Shall we look at it again and review? We came in, we added a new virtual device, then we went through and added the sources we wanted to add, and let's, uh, let's add Sibelius, okay? So because I'm, uh, I'm gonna be working on some musical examples, and I'm gonna tick that box and say, oh, then we're not gonna mute and caption, we're just gonna play it right out of the box, and it's gonna be hooked up, and it's ready to go. It couldn't be much more simpler on that on that level of it. The only part you're ever going to run into for your own benefit is the monitoring section, okay, as to where you're going to monitor from. In my case, I'm monitoring off the computer, and I'm hearing everything, and Zoom is hearing everything, and so I'm fine, okay? So if I actually d wanted to just go simple and just say I'm just leaving my headphones plugged in on my Mac, I'm still going to hear everything, and I'm trusting my student is because it's all flowing through, and I can see it go through, and they're going to hear it in real time. Now there's more that we could talk about here, but this is the part you need to care about most so that uh, any of your students can hear whatever app you're playing musically and it you don't have to switch anything on and off, it just goes. And that's the end of today's beginning lesson on Z loopback and using it in Zoom and other ways to deal with audio on your computer where it's all inside the box. And that means inside your computer. Okay. That all works. Thanks for listening. You can all call with your complaints, leave them on Zoom for Musicians, and we'll address them as they come in.